Hey guys, welcome back to Games of War. Today's episode is going to be a new pickup video, and I swore I'd do one of these like every couple of months or whatever, and it's been like five years. That's just pathetic, so we're going to remedy that right away with a new pickup video, and then we'll kind of ease into the Vita and Switch collections. Thank you guys for being patient. I've been gone for a little bit again. That's over. We're back. Hope you guys enjoy, and thank you for watching. So machines first. The Animal Crossing Switch is one that I wanted when it first came out, and it sold out really quick, and it was tough to get one. And they did a re-release a few months back, and I finally picked one up, and I'm really happy with this particular model. I like the pastel colors of the Joy-Cons, and I'm a big Animal Crossing fan, so I really wanted to have this, and I'm glad that I finally was able to, to pick it up. So this is a really nice system. I'm absolutely loving the Switch, and this is a great model to own. I really want to get that Red Mario one kind of, man. It looks pretty sweet, too, with the all red. Uh, I saw it at my local uh, store. They had a few left, so I, I might pick that one up. I'm not sure. Gotta, I kind of want to save it for the F Switch Pro if they're going to release one. I don't really need like a bunch of models of Switch because it's just different Joy-Cons. But that red one, it has me interested. And I found this at my local flea market. This was a brand new uh, 3DS XL Hyrule Edition. And I had this one a while back. And I ended up selling it for some stupid reason. I, I regretted it instantly. And when I saw this and it was brand new, it hadn't even been opened, I knew I had to pick it up. You can never have enough 3DSs, and I'm glad that I found this one, and I'm not going to ever get rid of it again. Now onto the Switch games. I picked up the Fire Emblem Three Houses Collector's Edition. Absolutely love this game. I've been a Fire Emblem fan since day one, and I had to have this, and I was really happy to get the Collector's Edition. Kind of hard to get. It sold out pretty quick, but this is a fantastic game and kind of a rebirth for the Fire Emblem series as a whole. It's just a, a great game with so much content. Absolutely loving it. Love the Collector's Edition. It's got a great art book. Uh, very happy with the direction Fire Emblem is heading. So even though I own Xenoblade Chronicles on the Wii and the 3DS, I had to pick up this Definitive Edition on the Switch. It looks great. I'm a big fan of Xenoblade. I think it's got one of the best, if not the best, game world in an RPG. Uh, taking place on the back of those Titans is just freaking fantastically creative. Absolutely love the setting and atmosphere. And the game is great too. Love the characters, Shulk. The storyline's great. Uh, it's so much content. And this is, without a doubt, the definitive edition of the game. Although I do like it in 3D on the 3DS, but this is just a fantastic version. It looks great. HD. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles, you can't go wrong. Absolutely love the series. Next up on the Switch, we've got the Ori games. Now, I had these on the Xbox One, but for some reason they just seem like a better fit on the Switch, being able to play on the go. Uh, these are some of the best 2D hand-drawn platformers around. Uh, lots of fun to play. The sequel is really good. Uh, beautiful music. Soundtracks are exquisite. Beautiful hand-drawn visuals. Absolutely love the storyline and setting characters. This is just platforming done right. These games are amazing, and they look brilliant on the Switch. They, whoever did the ports did a fantastic job. They both look great. Uh, highly recommended on the Switch. Blaster Master Zero 1 and 2 are retro-inspired games brought into the modern era done right. And I've got to say, I'm kind of getting sick to death of this old 8-bit inspired shit that keeps coming out it, over and over and over again. And it's just like, it looks 8-bit just for the sake of looking 8-bit. Inti Creates does it right. They take an old franchise and give it modern conveniences and it is fun to play getting out of the vehicle is a lot of fun the vehicle controls well the gameplay is laid out properly this is the way it's done right integrates does not let me down ever shantae and the seven sirens is the newest game in the shantae series and i've got to say i don't like this one as much as the pirate's curse it's still a good game don't get me wrong i like the transformations and i like the graphical style i just prefer the sprite based look of pirate's curse and the gameplay elements that back then but still a good game it's just it's not my favorite in the series but still worth owning for sure next up we've got some heavy hitters from nintendo mario 3d all-stars which has got my favorite mario game of all time mario sunshine i know i'm in the minority on that one but something about the flood backpack just speaks to me i absolutely love the game and galaxy's really good too don't get me wrong new super mario u deluxe this is the wii u game brought to the switch i really liked this one on the wii u i thought it was a great 2d mario in HD. I really need to get out there and pick up the new Mario 3D World that's on the Switch now. That was a great game on the Wii U. A lot of fun playing multiplayer. Age of Calamity is the new Hyrule Warriors game and it's a great love letter to Zelda and Breath of the Wild. I absolutely enjoy any kind of Dynasty Warriors games. I love the crowd-based beat-em-ups and this is another great entry in the series. And then Pikmin has always been one of my favorite franchises on Nintendo on the GameCube and Pikmin 3 was great on the Wii U. And it's great that more people get to play it on the Switch. There's some added content in this, and I absolutely loved Pikmin 3 on the Wii U, and I love it even more on the Switch. This is one of my favorites. I love Pikmin. Panzer Dragoon is a series I've been there from the very beginning. I picked it up on Saturn back in 95. I absolutely loved it. Loved the sequel. Uh, played the RPG Panzer Dragoon Saga. Own it. Love it. Loved Orta on the Xbox. The remake is a mixed bag for me. Hearing that opening track on the first level, man, almost brought a tear to my eye hearing it again and seeing the beautiful visuals. 
something just seems a little off with the flying and the targeting, but I, I do like it, don't get me wrong, it's still a, a nice remake, and it's, it's fun to go back and play a reimagined version of it. I don't think anything will beat Orta for me personally yet, but it's still a great remake, and I really do enjoy it. Blasphemous on the Switch is a great kind of gothic horror-inspired, dreadful Dark Souls-ish kind of 2D side-scroller on the Switch. What a great game. Brutal combat, intense, great storyline, great kind of religious overtones. Absolutely enjoyed my time with Blasphemous. I think it's a breath of fresh air done right with these retro-inspired games. Fantastic game. From the studio that brought us Slain, this is Valferis, and this is one of my favorite action platformers from the past couple years. Uh, kind of a heavy metal themed, a violent, blood-soaked adventure, great science fiction backdrop, really creative levels, great color palette, excellent gameplay, weapons, enemies exploding in blood, it's just a great freaking platformer. Done right, this is how it should be done, Valferis is excellent. Streets of Rage 4 on the Switch is one of my favorite games of the year, and I was absolutely looking forward to this. I've been a Streets of Rage guy since the early days, man. I was the guy in middle school fighting with people about Streets of Rage versus Final Fight, saying how much better Streets of Rage was, and how it had co-op, and it had all three characters, and Final Fight was shit because it didn't have guy, and I, I was defending it to the death, man. You could not talk shit about Streets of Rage without like fist fighting me, I was that serious about it. And I absolutely love Streets of Rage 2. Streets of Rage 3 is definitely one of my favorites as well. It gets kind of like a, a bad rap, or it gets kind of like the odd sheep of the series. But I, I love the whole series to death, and, and 4 had a lot of expectations riding on it. Thankfully, it delivered, man. Once again, these guys are freaking fantastic. .emu, Lizard Cube, they are just freaking on top of their game. I couldn't have been happier with what came out with Streets of Rage 4. I beat it multiple times. I love all the new characters. Lots of unlockables. I picked up the Collector's Edition. And I'm so happy that I did because I always loved Axel and Blaze. They were some of my favorite characters from the original. And the statue is gorgeous. The steel book is great. There's a clamshell Streets of Rage 4 box that goes right along with my nice Streets of Rage 1 through 3. It looks like an authentic fit. Couldn't be happier Streets of Rage 4. One of my favorite beat-em-ups of all time. Just a fantastic game. So on the PS4, I picked up VanillaWare's newest game. And I just had to line up all of their releases so far. Because if you haven't played VanillaWare's games... Man, you're really missing out. I gotta say, they're so well done. The beautiful HD artwork cannot be understated. How damn good it looks. The PS4 version of Odin Sphere was one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, looks even brilliant on the Vita. It, 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 the Muramasa on the Vita. Uh, Dragon's Crown Pro. And, and the one that doesn't get any love, uh, Grim Grimoire, has kind of been forgotten on the PS2. They're all such damn good games. And 13 Sentinels is no exception. One of my favorite games that I've played all year. It looks so good on the PS4. The storyline is so engrossing. The gameplay is amazing. Cannot gush enough about 13 Sentinels. Pick it up. Love it. This is your first initial wave that's got the art book in it. And I'm so happy that I picked it up because I kind of had a hard time finding it. I, it was on sale for like the first two weeks for 30 bucks, And then I kind of didn't pick it up. Then it was all sold out everywhere. I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm going to have a hard time finding this. And it kind of popped back up and I got it on sale again. So 13 Sentinels, don't miss out. Don't miss out on anything from Vanillaware. It's such a fantastic company. A real a shining gem in the rough. Definitely check out Vanillaware's games. Some AAA games. We got Last of Us Part 2. I haven't even opened it yet. I got this on sale over Christmas. I love the first one to death. Naughty Dog is always such a, a big triple-a powerhouse it doesn't disappoint ever uh, ghost of shinima is from sucker punch one of my favorite studios of all time as well i love the infamous series and they just knocked out of the park with this such a visually striking creative game i had so much fun with ghost of shinima and i think it is a brilliant game done to perfection on the ps4 this is why i love the playstation so much the brands these exclusives just knock it out of the park man i cannot gush enough about them dreams is an exclusive on the ps4 from media molecule makers of the little big planet series and i've got to say i don't think this game gets near enough credit the flexibility versatility of the tools available in here to create your own games and scenarios is just basically limitless man some of the creations that people have done some of the games people have made it just blows my mind and this is one of those games where you're gonna get more out of it the more you put into it so definitely check out dreams man play some of the player created levels and just just be in awe of what this has accomplished man it doesn't get enough talked about I, i'd never hear anybody mention this and this is a freaking brilliant game judgment is an exclusive on the ps4 from the yakuza team and i've got to say this one speaks to me personally i just cannot get behind japanese voice and i can't get down with it man i can't understand it it's too fast i can't connect with characters properly this game is thankfully in English, and I really connected with the characters, and I understood the story, and I enjoyed the hell out of the gameplay. I'm such a huge fan of the Yakuza series and Shenmue, and the games like this, and it just makes it that much more personable, much more special to me when I can connect to a character, understand what he's saying, get to know him, get a feel for him. This is a game done right. Great beat-em-up sections, great detective work. I absolutely love Judgment. Hope there's more from this series in the future. 
So I've been on a bit of a rail shooter kick lately and I wanted to pick up these rail shooters here. I know I have them uh, digitally on the PS3. I believe Dead Space Extraction came with my collector's edition for Dead Space 2 and I believe that these were available on the PS Network and I just didn't have them physically and I wanted to have them and I believe they're only available on the Wii, correct me if I'm wrong, but I absolutely love Dead Space Extraction. What a great rail shooter. Uh, lots of elements from Dead Space is included in here. It's a great storyline and a great atmosphere. And I love the Resident Evil uh, rail shooter. So much fun to play. Great fun having two guns, two players, couch co-op, and just shooting the hell out of zombies. You can't go wrong. And then one of the few rail shooters I was missing on the PS2 was Ninja Assault. This is from Namco. And this is really fun to play with the gun con. I had a lot of fun playing this, and there's some great real shooters in the PS2. This was the last one that I needed, so I've kind of got a complete collection all the time crisis, the point blanks, all the other stuff. Uh, great real shooter fun. Absolutely love real shooters. Moving on to the Xbox One, for some reason I picked up SnowRunner, and I'm not like a trucker, like mudder type guy, but I got hooked on SnowRunner, man. The realistic driving physics, the different terrain, the way your vehicles react to the terrain, the completely lifelike and realistic driving mechanics just had me hooked man i've played i think 70 hours in this game and there's no letting up it's just a freaking amazing game for somebody that like me i didn't think i i don't know why i bought it but it, i freaking got addicted to it snow runner is just freaking fantastic i liked it so much that i went back and picked up the first game mud runner man these games are just done to perfection rock fest is one that i wanted to pick up for a long time i finally did and it did not disappoint i absolutely loved the flat out ultimate carnage on the 360 and games of that type and this is no exception man off the wall racing type action different stunt based physics and different vehicles and all kinds of different scenarios this game has got it all great physics great racing action absolutely love wreckfest it's highly recommended i'm a really big fan of tactical rpgs and i am a huge fan of halo and the gears franchise i loved the first halo wars so i just finally picked up halo wars 2 it's still sealed i haven't played it yet uh, gears tactics i didn't even know it was a thing man i just saw it one day i'm like holy shit picked it up and it does the Gears of War franchise right with great tactical RPG gameplay, violent, great strategy, excellent visuals. Man, I cannot gush enough about Gears Tactics. If you like tactical RPGs and you're a fan of Gears or Halo, definitely pick up the Tactics uh, Gears and Halo Wars. You can't freaking go wrong. These are great tactical RPGs. I love a good underwater game and Subnautica fit that bill. This is a freaking amazing underwater kind of like survival-ish kind of game where you craft different items and you are always searching for different things underwater and there's alien type creatures and there's suspense there's a great storyline the atmosphere is amazing in this the suspense i couldn't get enough of subnautica this game was freaking amazing there's an expansion coming i think like a ice arctic uh, theme but man what a great underwater game crafting different supplies staying alive absolutely fell in love with subnautica what a great underwater game the Falconeer is one that I wanted to pick up based on the visual style and look alone. It looks really cool. It's so smooth. That frame rate's buttery smooth. The graphics look great. I'm a fan of these kind of off-the-wall kind of flying games where you're playing in something different than like a jet or a spaceship. And a bird is definitely unique. And I absolutely love the shooter mechanics, the gameplay, visuals, everything about this game. Just worked for me. Absolutely love the Falconeer. I had to pick up the newest Assassin's Creed game. I've been there since day one from the first game. Absolutely love the Assassin's Creed series, and this newest entry is no exception. Beautifully well done, phenomenal production values, great gameplay. I'm, I'll be there for the Assassin's Creed games until the end, and I absolutely love Valhalla. And then I had to give their newest game a try, Immortals Phoenix Rising. And being such a big fan of the Assassin's Creed team and their work, I had to give Immortals a try, and I'm glad I did. This is a fantastic game that adds kind of like a Assassin's Creed-ish kind of Breath of the Wild feel, and it's a beautiful wide-open action-adventure game. Got some open-world elements, great setting, characters, and voice acting, top-notch production value. This is a great new IP. I'd love to see it continue. Maybe not at the frequency of Assassin's Creed, but uh, a fantastic new IP with great production value. They were in the right direction. Great games for sure. So hope you guys have enjoyed taking a look at some of the games I've picked up recently. I really want to continue doing these every couple of months or so and just kind of keep you up to date with the newest stuff and see what you guys have gotten and talk about what newer games you're playing or what you've picked up and what you're excited about. So please, guys, stick with the channel. Stick with me. I love you all. Games Wars absolutely nothing without you.